y'all, Melissa here with you today. And today I want to share with you kind of a sewing tip and also a really simple sewing project. So when I am making a new garment for myself, I typically sew one out of muslin to check the fit. So depending on whether I'm sewing a woven garment, I might use actual muslin fabric, or if I'm making a knit garment, I might just use a cheap knit and then call it a muslin that I'm making. Regardless, I always felt really bad about using all this fabric to make a muslin and then not wearing it because who wants to wear blue and white striped pants, right? So this is my solution to that problem of making the muslins and having this extra fabric that I didn't want to throw away. Let me talk to you about that after the intro. So when I make a muslin garment, which may be out of actual muslin or may just be inexpensive fabric and I call it a muslin, um, I save the fabric that I have used on it. And then every few months or so, I will piece all my scrap fabrics together and I make these reusable paper towels. They're not really paper, obviously, but this is how my family uses them. I keep a cookie jar on the counter and it is filled with them. This is what they look like after they've been through the wash and gotten bleached. And when we need to wipe up a mess or wipe down the counters, we just grab one out of the cookie jar, use it, throw it in the laundry, it gets washed with the whites and then thrown back in the cookie jar for use again. With the knit fabrics, I go ahead and do the same thing and turn them into like dust rags, basically. I could use these as paper towels. They're actually probably a little more absorbent than the actual muslin fabric, but I, that's just a way for us in our household to keep them separated. Like these are things we wipe counters with. These are things we might clean up the floor or, um, you know, dust off window panes or just this, these get dirtier than these. Um, and these also, sometimes I throw them in the wash and they get bleached because if they're rags, like what do I care what the color on the fabric looks like. So I'm going to show you how I make these today. Let's start with the actual muslin fabric. And I have here, this was actually a piece of a muslin that I was making for a pair of jeans. You can see this is the back yoke of the jeans here. And so what I do is I cut the fabric to get it to lay as flat as I can. And then I just don't worry about any of the other seams or anything in the muslin. I don't worry if it's perfectly flat. Um, you can see there's a little bit of like the other side of the crotch on this one and I just try to cut it into as large a square as I can and then I'm going to serge all around the edges to keep it from unraveling anymore and those seams, it's no big deal. So um, let me take you over to the machine and show you how I do this. So once I have a big stack of these ready to sew, I just sit down at my serger and this one has a folded edge so I'm only going to sew around three sides but here's what I do. When I get to the corners I slow down and kind of pull like that to just round around the corners. And then I just chain off and trim. I don't really worry about this unraveling a little bit. Again, these are eventually going to get thrown away when they're no good to use anymore. So I just cut it apart and there is my paper towel. So once I'm finished serging around the edges, um, sometimes I also just overlap scraps like this and just top stitch them together. If it unravels a little bit along those edges when I'm using it, it's really, it's not a big deal. I'm still getting more use out of this than just making a muslin and by using it more than once as a paper towel, I'm saving on those paper towel costs and that waste. You can see this is not a perfect square, it's not perfect sewing, but they work for this purpose. 
I've also found that um, several of my friends and family members have enjoyed receiving these as gifts because once I filled up my cookie jar, then um, they saw me using them at home, then other people have wanted them and people who don't necessarily sew. So this is another great way for me to use my scraps and let somebody else be environmentally friendly who maybe doesn't sew but likes the idea of reusing and reducing their waste. Anyways, I hope you found this helpful and I'll see you next time.